Okay, so we will begin today's session. So the midterm project is about generating faces with GAN. And the goal of this project is obviously generating fake celebrity images using GAN and the data set is LFA data set. You can either download it through Torch Vision or from this link. This, is, this link is Google link who made this data set. You can directly download from this. Uh, there is one thing you, you, you have to consider if you use the Torch Vision or download it from this link, there is a Google Drive quota to download, you know, like one, one day quota for each. So if you can, if there is error when downloading the data set, you have to wait certain times to be available again. So I highly recommend you to do this in advance only for the data set because it will take some time. And when you download it, the original image size is, it's actually three by 218 by 178. This is the original image for one Zelebe data set. And you have to pre-process the image to 64, 64 by 60, so 64. We provide the transforming code to use in Torch Vision, but this is not mandatory. You can use any transformation as you want as a hyperparameter, but the height and width of the image should be 64 by 64. So you should you can do any any transformation you want, but the output should be three by trans three by sixty four by sixty four. Yeah. And for the model, you can use any GAN structure you want. I know that you have learned DC GAN last time, but if you want to use other GAN structures such as progressive GAN, you can use it. It doesn't matter. But you cannot use variation autoencoder. Only you have to use GAN. Yeah. And for the evaluation, the total project, the total score of this project is 50. And we will use FID score to measure your project score. So FID score is measuring distance between real, real celebrity images and your generated images. So since it is the distance, lower the better. So if your FID score gets below 30, 35, you get 50 out of 50 and below 40. So above 35 and below 40 it will be 40, 45. Below 45 will be 40 and below 55 will be 35. And if you don't submit or you late submit, or your images doesn't go in our evaluation code, it will be zero point. Be aware. So in submission, you have to compress folder, not images by themselves, containing 1000 synthetic images, which is in PNG format into your student ID zip. If you are a Linux user, we recommend you to use this operation. So this is student ID zip and the path to folder containing images. If the zip file is uncompressed, there should be a same folder, same name with the student ID containing only 1000 images. No readme files, text files, Python files, only 1000 images. We will use unzip operator. Yeah, we will provide evaluation code. So we will use this operation to uncompress. So you can test in advance. And if your zip file is ready, please unload it on KLMS. And if you, if there's who cannot unload it on KLMS, they should send it directly to my email. So you get zero score if you don't follow the submission format above. Uh, last year, since there is like more than 300 students, we cannot individually check every format. 
So we will provide evaluation code this year. And if you cannot, if you cannot, if your if your file doesn't run in this in the, in our evaluation code, it'll be zero score. We will we will there's no pardon. So we will provide this in Classroom. So if to test if your submission format is right and know your score in advance, we will offer evaluation shell script code and real image. So we will give you this folder in zip file and this evaluation script shell script. The real directory contains real images and this will be uploaded on Classroom. And you have to make submission directory. Submission directory, the name should be exactly same as this one. And you have to put your student ID zip file inside like this. Oh, uh, before you, if you, before running FID code, PyTorch and PyTorch FID. Sorry. PyTorch and PyTorch FID should be installed before you use the shell script. It takes about three gigabytes of GPU memory. And when the scoring is done, it takes about three minutes to one, two or three minutes, depending on your computer. On compressed folder like this one, the same, same name and evaluation TSB file will be made like this. And if you open the evaluation TSB file, it will contain your ID and FID score. So this, this data set is done by myself. And as you can see, the FID score is 37. So in this score, I'll get 45. So for those of you who cannot use Linux server, you can check by yourself with real images and PyTorch FID code on local. This, here is the link for FID code. However, we will measure your score exactly with this format. So make sure that if your zip file is uncompressed, folder should come out, not the images. Okay, is there any question about the midterm project? Oh, the due date is October 20th, yeah. So we are not submitting our code. We are only submitting our fake images. Oh, Is I'm that correct. Uh, actually, last year we only took uh zip file of images, but this year I'm not sure. But if there's any change right now, until now it is only images compressed file. But if there's any change, I will let you know on the classroom. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, 생성... uh, 이것도 사실 이게 정화 네 이거는 그냥 3바이 64바이 64로 고정을 하겠습니다. 아닙니다. 무조건 PNG 포맷이어야 됩니다. So, can you see the VS code? We will show you an example. So, there are three folder. Ah, uh, Sungjae님은 저한테 따로 그 메일을 다시 보내주시길 바라겠습니다. 네, 아직 안 올라왔습니다. So this is the example of evaluation. Can you see? Can you see the screen? So this is ah. Uh, how do I? Hmm. 
Well, I'll tell you in voice. So there are three, two folders and one shell script file. This is real, real image data set. There, con this contains 1,000 images in PNG format. And if you look at this, this looks like this is a real image. And there is a in this submission folder, there is my zip file and a shell script. So in this, in this setting, we run bash evaluation script shell script, and this automatically zip unzips the file. And this is my unzipped file, and it will run this FID score. Oh, 아 이거 확대가 지금 안 되네요 이게. 그 이거는 제가 유튜브에 올려 올릴 예정이니까 거기서 한번 다시 확인해 주시기 바라겠습니다. So the zip file should look like the unzipped file is contains like this generated image. This is fake images. Oh. Hmm. Actually, I cannot find how to zoom in. Hmm. Ah. Option boot. Ah. Ah, 감사합니다. So this, the code is done. So there, there is a evaluation TSV file, and there is my student ID and my FID score. So for the evaluation of all of your students, we will put all the zip files in the submission folder and run this, run this shell script. And the TSV will have like another student ID and FID score like this. So we'll use this TSV file as your final score. So I will give you this shell script code and this real image folder. And so you can do this by yourself. Is there any student who cannot use Linux server? Um, so, so actually this shell script, I'm not sure if this shell script code is available in window. Well, I think there is way if you find out, but for now, I don't know. Um, well, we will evaluate your score exactly with this code. This score will be your, it will be graded. So for those of you who don't know Linux server or like haven't used it, hmm, then you cannot use the shell script code, but as I said on the, document, Google Docs, you can check by yourself with local we, when, because we will give, give you real images and PyTorch FID code is available on GitHub anyway. But you have to make sure that if the zip file is uncompressed, the folder should be made. Folder containing images. Is there any question about the project?
no question. Okay. Okay, then let's begin the today's lecture session. Mm, if you have any questions about the project, please ask on classroom post. Core App is not Linux based. If you want to use Core App, you can use the Core App. 이미지들을 이제 다 로컬에 다운 받으셔가지고 압축을 뭐 거기서 돌려보셔야 할것 같습니다 로컬에서 아 GT 서버는 따로 지원해주지 않습니다 그그 리눅스 리눅스 서 리눅스를 리눅스를 못 쓰는 상태에 계신 if there are any students who cannot use Linux and you can use either MacBook or Mac OS or Windows, um, I cannot uh, give you the evaluation code exactly as the in Linux, but I'll give you some advice about how to compress the folder in Classroom. So yeah, don't worry too much. Uh, Linux, shell script, and we can do 저희가 한 번에 그 여러 300명 분들의 그 폴더를 압축 받아가지고 한 번에 다 압축 해제하고 하나씩 하나씩 다 돌려 보려면 쉘 스크립트 하는 게 300명을 하기에 이게 합리적이라 생각을 해서 쉘 스크립트를 저희가 사용을 했습니다. 소스 코드 제출은 지금 일단은 아닌데 제가 그거는 다시 만약 공, 공지를 하도록 하겠습니다. 현재까지는 아닙니다. So for now, you don't have to submit the source code, but if there's any change, I'll let you know in class. Yeah, 아, 우리가 사용하는 이벨루에이션 코드를 아예 공, 아예 공개를 해서 이게 스스로 이게 돌아가지는지 안 돌아가지는지 테스트를 해볼 수 있도록 드리는 겁니다. 뭐 사실 필수는 아니에요. 이벨루에이션 코드를 돌리는 게 필수는 아닌데 우리는 이렇게 할 거니까 미리 한번 해보세요라고 저희가 알려드리는 거예요. 사실 네네. 또 다른 질문 있나요? Is there any question about project? 네 맞습니다. 그게 최종 평가에 되는 점수입니다. GPU 사양은 3기가만 있으면 충분합니다. 리눅스가 필요한 건 이벨리에이션 쉘 스크립 때문 쉘 시설 때문인가요? 어, 네 사실 맞아요. 쉘 스크립 때문인데 잠시만요. 
그 제가 보내 제가 여기 그 구글 닥스에 올린 그 FID 링크 들어가면 이 여기 이 기타포가 나올 건데 저희가 어떻게 했냐면 이거 그대로 했어요. 핍 인스톨을 하고 이걸 돌리는데 이걸 이제 그, 쉐, 그 터미널에 돌리는데 이거는 이제 하나는 이제 리얼 데이터셋이 있는 폴더 하나는 제너레이티드 이미지가 있는 폴더인데 이걸 돌리면 FID 스코어가 나와요. 근데 저희가 이거를 이제 쉘 스크립트 만들어서 그냥 폼은 이제 모든 학생들을 모든 학생들에 대해서 다이 함수를 돌리는 거거든요. 근데 만약 그냥 본인이 본인 점수만 알고 싶다라고 한다면 사실 그냥 로컬에다가 이거 다운 받으셔가지고 이걸 돌리시면 됩니다. So if you if you are like window user or Mac OS user and you don't you, you can't use Linux, you can just pip install this PyTorch FID and use this. Use this one, and this one is one is a uh, path to the real image folder, and this one is path to generate the image folder. And if you run this code, uh, this will output the FID score. But be aware that we will use unzip operator to un. Unzip your file, uncompress your file. So you can test that if I unzip my file, whether the images come out or folder comes out. The folder should come out. Two minutes more. The project related question. Zip file. Zip file. Zip file. Zip file. Zip file, 완전 알지 같은 압축한 문제 생길 수 있으니까. 네, 맞습니다. 알집으로 압축을 하면 이게 가끔 알집으로 할 때가 문제가 있는 경우가 있어가지고, 아니, 뭐, 아닐 수, 했다가, 아, 이게, 음, 그거, 그거는 만약 그러니까 리눅스 유저분들이 아니거나 그냥 윈도우나 맥OS 유저셔가지고 나는 압축을 리눅스에서 못한다라고 하시면 하실 수 있는 분이 있을 수 있으니까 제가 그거는 윈도우, 유저랑 맥 유저를 위해서 따로 그 가이드라인 알려드리도록 하겠습니다. Is it possible to run the code on my computer rather than correct? Oh yeah, sure. It is actually recommended to not uh use to use your own computer since GAN is GAN can be a little bit heavy to run on Colab. It doesn't mean that you cannot do on Colab, but uh. For the image that I just tested, which was like 37 FID score, it took about an hour in uh, RTX 3090. So if you use if you use Colab, I think it will take about I don't know, like four or five hours to train. Yeah. Is there any question? I will answer a question about project for one minute more and we will begin the session. So if there is no question, let's begin the lecture. Mm. If you have any trouble when you when you do the project, please question at Classroom. And but just one advice, I highly recommend you to download the Salivate dataset in advance because there is like there is 300 students and if you do it all together it'll definitely out of quota so if you have time please download the cellophy data set using like torch vision okay so let's begin so today's lecture is convolution on neural networks cnn and we will implement CNN using PyTorch. Oh, 
or PyTorch, and we will do how how we'll see how to use convolutional neural network batch normalization and dropout layer using to classify MNIST. And in part two, two we will do ResNet on CFAR ten, but I'm not sure if the time will be available to do the ResNet. Okay. So before we start, you should change the runtime type to GPU, not CPU. You already know this. So we run the library needed for Torch. Yeah, and we download MNIST dataset and we split it to train, valid, and test. And we also download CFAR 10 and we use trend this transformation here, you can see. Well, it, you can be, there, there can be question, why do we use this kind of transformation? Well, this is hyperparameter and it turned out that this normalize and this horizontal flip and this random plop is good for CNN. There's no there's no answer for this transformation. You can use anything you want, but this turned out to be in good good for CNN. So we use this one. Okay. While downloading the data set, let's dive into the convolution operator. So if there is a tensor with a shape of one by three by 32 by 32, you know what this each dimension means, right? So the first dimension will mean the batch size. Second will be the channel like RGB. And third and fourth dimension will mean the width and height. So in this particular example, the data set should look like this one. So 32 by 32 by three. And since there is one batch, there is only one image. And so how do we define convolutional neural network? So just like you did like torch.nn.linear, there is conv2. Conv 2D, this means we convolutional convolution 2D. And we have to define four, four arguments. So the first argument is input channel size. So in this example, in this example, the input channel size is three. And second argument is output channel. So if we convolve somehow, the output should look like this. And the output size channel is one. So we put here one. And for the kernel size, hmm, how should we do the kernel size? So uh, here's a kernel size. So we do the five by five by three filter. So this means the filter size, height is five, width is five, and channel, the depth is three because the original image channel was three. So kernel size should be five. And try, oh, by the way, do you know the, how the output channel how output width, for example, width is made with original width minus filter width plus two by padding size divided by pride plus one. Do you know this? Do you, do all of you know this? This is how we get the output width with the original width. So we want to get the 28 width. So it will be 28 is 
32 minus 5 plus, we don't do the padding, so padding will be 0 divided by stride. We don't know the stride yet. Stride plus 1 so it has to be 28. So what is the stride? Stride is 1. Right? So if, if we Oh, yeah. Stride is one. So then the output size of the convolutional layer should be one by one by 28 by 28. So let's check. We put this image, X image, to the conv layer, and the size will be one by one by 28 by 28. So quiz, mm. the input volume is 3 by 32 by 32. Oh, I didn't mention one thing. So for conventional, there is five arguments that we use. We only use this time four, but there can be padding. You know what padding is? So padding is, if we do not define this, it will be zero in default. But if we use padding like one, and here comes a padding in this in this operation, there is also pad. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So here is the padding. And question, if the input volume is three by 32 by 32 and we want to convolve with 10 five by five filters with stride one and pad, pad two, what should be inside these arguments? You can do it by yourself. I'll give you three, two minutes.아, 한소희님, 이거는 저희가 그냥 이걸 예시를 보여드리려고 한 거기 때문에 이건 굳이 안 돌려보셔도 됩니다. 이건 제가 돌려봐도 에러가 뜰 거예요, 아마. 음. Hmm. Actually it's not 10 by 20 by 29 by 29. You should check again. Okay, let's let's see. The input size is well we will do the one batch size so it'll be one and the channel size is three with thirty-two, height thirty-two. Oh there's one. Yeah. So for the input channel, what will be the input channel? Input channel should be three and out, out channel will be, what is it, 10 and kernel size will be five here, five and stride is one and padding is two, and it will be one by 10 by 32 by 32. You can put here this, and it will be exactly 32. Okay, 
Is everybody following up? We will do the batch norm and drop out later. So you I I think you already you learned batch norm and drop out next time, is it right? You guys know what is batch norm and drop out. So if there is a tensor like image with one batch size, three channels, and 32 by 32, we define batch norm in 2D, not 1D, because it is 2, 2D, 2D data. And we have to assign the number of features argument to use the batch norm. So in this case, the channel is three. So we define num feature three. And if we run this code, the shape will be the same as original, but it is norm batch normalized. And if if the feature is not right, it will contain errors. So be aware that the now feature in this here should be same as the channel size and drop out. So we we'll, we do the drop out and since it's 2D data, we have to define 2D here. And this probability is like, in what probability are you going to turn off the neuron in this layer? So if you do this like one zero point point one, and it will turn off the neural neuron in one out of 10. And if you do this like 0 0.5, it will turn out in one out of two. And if you do the dropout, the uh, torch size doesn't change. So for this X, we do the batch, batch normalization and that dropout, but the output size will be same as the original. So let's make the convolutional neural network. Okay, so this is the module class for convolutional neural network. We define the upper class and then we define, and then the sequential use doing convolutional, convolution, batch norm and ReLU. And then again, convolution, batch norm, and then ReLU. And lastly, we use the fully connected layer to classify. And so as you can see here, when the X come in, we first put in through the layer one, layer one. And then with the output, we put in through layer two. And we flatten out and the output will be done with the fully connected layer. So, hmm. Hmm. assume that assume that the X image, X data set size will be batch size by three by 32 by 32. Oh, what is the batch size? Uh, batch size 128. So assume that the batch, the size of the X here is 108 by three by 32. And the output, output here, the output size should be, should be 108 by 10. Since this X is, since this X is MNIST, so we have to classify whether it's a zero or nine, zero to nine. So we have, the output size should be look like this. So I'll give you five minutes to put in the arguments by your own and we'll check out together.
Oh, yeah. I, I'm sorry. You're right. It is since it is a, it is black image. It's amnest. It's not CFR ten. So the channel is one. I'm sorry. Thank you. Two. Yes, the emphasize is emphasizes channel is one, not three. Oh no, it is it is not twenty eight, it is there is two. So is everybody done? It's, since it's running out of time, we'll do it together. So the first layer, so here, the X shape will be, X's shape will be 108 by one by 32 by 32. And here, the input channel, uh, input channel will be one and out channel, by this channel and out channels, will be 32 here and the kernel size will be seven let's try this one but you don't have to put this since this is this default default is one so you whether you put it or not it will be the same and sort of and the batch norm since it, it is out the channel size is 32 it'll be 32 and so what what do this is layer one and what will be the output size of after the layer one? Outside shape will be the batch size will be same same. Since the output channel is 32, it will be 32. And for the height and width, 32 minus kernel size is 25. And there's no padding and strided one. And so you just add one. So it will be, what is it? 20, 32 minus, is it 26? Yeah, I think it's 26. Okay. So next, read the input channel. will be 32, out channel will be 64, and kernel size will be seven, and try the seven so we don't put it, and the batch norm 2D will be 64 in this case. 
So what this layer two, this is the layer two, and what will be the out? Oh, what will be the next uh, next layer's output? Out shape will be batch size will be shame. Output channel size is sixty four, and you. It will be. Well, did I do something wrong? Oh, actually, Doki is right. It is not thirty-two by thirty-two. I mean, it's twenty-eight. I'm sorry. This is twenty-eight, not thirty-two by thirty-two. So, it's twenty-eight by twenty-eight. And you minus this one with is it will be twenty two by twenty two, and this one will be let me just pick sixteen by sixteen. Yeah. Okay. So this is the output of the layer one and layer two. We convolve two layers, and we flatten this. This one here one means dimension. So we flatten from this is start dimension. So we flatten all starting from the first dimension. So we flatten this one. So the flattened shape will be 108 by 64 times 16 times 16. And after the fully connected layer, the output shape will be 108 by since so here here should be 16 by six, uh, 64 by 16 by 16 and 10 so it will be 10 yeah we cannot test it right now we have to test it here so we define device and optimizer and put oh try what where's try uh, try yeah. Okay, we put this network to CUDA. And we define criterion, which is cross entropy loss. And let's train this. Yeah, the training is done and let's see the output. So with the model, we, since the output is batch size by 10, we argmax with dimension one and check if it is right, it is same as the label. And we sum it and see what how, how, how many correction there is. 
Um, let's see. It is 99.19. So it is very high. Simple convolutional network is very effective in MNIST. Well, MNIST is very easy. And next we will do Res ResNet. Actually, ResNet is same as con same as convolutional neural network we did. Oh, excuse me, I will mute all. Okay. So convolution ResNet is actually same as co convolutional neural network that we did before, except that there is one path more, which is residual path, which as the original X with the output of the convolution layer. So for ResNet, we typically design it with block and we concatenate these block. Where is it? Yeah, so so if you if you if you see this one, we define block and we add like if we add we if we concatenate three blocks, here is the how many blocks we should add. And for 32, we had five blocks. And let's see how the block works. I'm not sure if we can do this until the end of the class, but let's see. Let's quickly move on. Okay, so hmm. this is a residual block, same as the, we done before, convolution 2D. And since we, uh, we input the input channels and output channels, so it'll it'll remain. And the kernel size and stride. Oh, here is the stride. So we put stride here. Stride. And normally in in res ResNet we do the kernel size three. And because because in ResNet we normally pad with one. And as you can see, if the original was like the output width was original width minus kernel size plus two by padding plus one, if we if the stride is one. So why do we do the kernel size three when padding is one? When there is a when padding is one. It is three, and we after convo after convolutional after convolutional layer. If we want the original width and original uh, output width and original width to be same, the kernel size should be three. Then it will be zero. So the output width and original width sh should be same. So if we do the kernel size three and padding one and stride one stride one. The input channels with and out, I know the inputs with and outputs with will be same. And we define batch normalization with output channel dimension and ReLU and one more one more convolution. It will be the same kernel size one. Actually, you can do just do try this one. Yeah, it'll be better. And padding is one. So, and batch normalization. Until now, it is same as before, this one, two layers of convolution. And then there's a down sample. This is, this is flag whether we should do the down sample or not. Down sample means we just like max pool or mean pool, like something like that. So, in this case, we will do the max pool to the with two, and since it can be not even number when even number for the width and height, we pad it 
you can see you can if you don't know the how this torch that function of the path works please look at the documentation and so when there is an input to the res residual block we store another x with name shortcut because we have to add it at the end of the convolution because it's res res resonant residual connection and for x we convolve batch norm value and convolve batch norm and as you saw before the output shape output shape will be same except for the channel size so oh actually actually it will be exactly same yeah it will be exactly same so we add shortcut here this is the difference between just normal cnn and resnet and we ReLU and output. So this is the residual block. And for ResNet, as you can see here, we have two arguments, how many blocks to use and block that we just defined here. So for this three, it will be here, num layers and block, is residual block, which is we defined here. And let's see in detail. So mm, first of all, we have we want if there is input channel three, since it is C far 10, the input channel size will be three. And we want output with channel 16. So the output channel will be 16. And we convolve with three kernel size. So the kernel size will be three. And we normally do the stride with one. Yeah, and this is it. And the batch norms out channel was 16. And get what is get layers? Hmm. Oh, we have to implement this. Hmm. For this time, I'll do this by myself. So in this module list, we have to use this block we, we just defined here. And block has input channel, up channel, stride, and down sample. So the module list should contain hmm, block in channel. What is it? Block and out channel strike down center. So in channel and out channels and strike and down sample. Yeah. So and Let's try this to try this to. Oh yeah, we actually we normally downsample. We we normally max norm when the stride is two. So when the stride is two, we downsample. And if stride is one, we just don't do the downsample. Oh. Okay, so. So for so we where is it? We have to add this in how many times? Num layers time. So for in range self dot num layers minus one. We append this layer list that append block 
coming back to the channel. Back to the channel. So we first, if there is if there is like five layer, num layer, we first we first do the block with downsampling, and and then we do the rest of it with with rest residual connection, and it will it will. And the output input and the output shape will be the same. And so we erase this one. And so first of all, the feature map is 16 by 32 by 32. So if we do this, this is if we do uh, if 16 by 16 by 16. One and it will be hmm. Yeah, it is starts to, yeah, right. And this one, how should the arguments look so that the output should be like this? The input channel is 32. Up channel is sixty four. Sprite is almost the channel size. Channel size we just find oh three. So in order to be Oh yeah, it's actually 16 by 16, yeah. It is 16 by 16, and for here, it will be 16 by 32, and we start two, and it will be 32 by 32. Oh no, it's 32 by 64, and start two, yeah, you're right. And average pool. When we do the average pool, see. So after six in, so it will be then the output is eight. So we put it here eight. And it is since it is eight by eight, it will be sixty four. So run this. No. This is this block in channels, out channels. Let's try down sample. What is wrong? Oh, did I miss one? Oh. And we define resonant 18 and resonant 32. Actually, this block is same as this one, same as this block, but we don't here, we added shortcut for the residual connection. Oh, so the max pool is done in the, max pool is done in residual block and after all, after all this 
residual block, we did the average pool. If you ask why we did average pool, it is because the people who made this ResNet did the average pool. So we just do the average pool. I, I, I actually, I don't know why they did average pool. I think because it has better performance without doing it. So we do the max pool here. So this residual block comes in here, layer two and layer four and layer six in. And after these max pooling operation, we do the average pool. So this block is same as the residual block, but instead there's no shortcut. Here we add the shortcut, but here we doesn't we don't add anything. So this is just the CNN layer. And we also define CNN 18 and CNN 32. Yeah. So here we define rest, same format, this one, but we add block from here, not from here, not from here. Yeah. So the block is different. Block is this one in ResNet, it is residual block. In CNN, it's just block we defined here. So let's train. First of all, ResNet 18. I don't know how much time it'll take. Oh, what is it? Hmm. Can I take something else? Shortcut. Okay, let's take the internal property. Column by free stride. Oh, stride. Stride to stride. I think it's not five spots of channels. Oh, I didn't do the down sample code. Down sampling. Again, and let's train. I think it take some time to train so we'll move on so if if yeah accuracy first year 30 33.96 hmm so this is just evaluation code just validation code and uh plotting so here we plot and oh is it is it Oh yeah, here is plotting, and we not we not only define ResNet, but to compare to compare the CNN, we also did CNN here, and we can plot it two two together, and let's see. How many epochs can I do? Oh, I think we can do this right now. It'll you you can do it by your own to make accuracy in like ninety nine percent ninety percent. And I will show you. 
the answer. Oh, uh, maybe I can just stop it. Yeah, and let's plot it. Well, <laughs> we have to do this like 160 times. So you, you can see this dropping. And for now, it will be just 60, 76%. But if you train it enough, it'll go up to 95. So we can, we, this, in this part, we did the ResNet, ResNet 18. But this time, we will do the CNN, same structure, same step, same, same optimizer. You can see, same optimizer, same scheduler. Yeah. And if you run this code and plot it with one with ResNet and one with CNN, you can see the difference of how the loss merges. And this one is for the ResNet's accuracy. And this one will be for the CNN's accuracy. So as there is time limitation, I can't show you all of this. You can do it by yourself. And yeah, I think this is the end of the session and you can do this, you can do the ResNet by your own. And if you, if there is any question, please unload, ask a, a classroom. And yeah, I think this is the end of today's down sampling. Ah, 제가 그거 코드를 다시 바로 업로드를 해드리도록 하겠습니다. 일단 다운 샘플 코드를 보여드리도록 할게요. Is there, if there is any question, so it's the end of the session, so you're free to go. And if you have any question about like this lecture or project, please ask. So, uh, image online celebrate data says down by the moon. 사실 그걸 다운 받으시면 그게 이제 그 데이터 이미지 데이터셋이거든요. 이미지 데이터셋인데 그거를 그냥 그대로 데이터 로드에 넣어 가지고 그 토치다 토치 비전다 아이오다 리오 리드 이미지스라고 있는데 잠시만요. 토치 비전다 확실하지 않은데 아마 맞을 거예요. 아이오다 리드 이미지라는 게 있는데 이걸로 읽어 가지고 이걸로 읽어 가지고 이제 그냥 데이터 로더를 구성하시면 돼요. 질문이 이제 그그그 그, 그 뭐냐 그 토치 비전에서 직접 다운 받는 게 아니고 그 잠시만요. 이제 여기서 다운을 받으면 어떻게 해야 되냐라고 여쭤보셨는데 여기 이미지에 이제 이걸 다운 받으시면 이걸 다운 받아서 압축을 푸시면 엄청 많은 이미지들이 있어요. 근데 그거를 그 직접 다 읽으셔가지고 거기서 이제 나름 트레이닝이랑 밸리드 나누셔가지고 학습을 시키시면 됩니다. 프로젝트 제작을 했는데. 네, 맞습니다. 혜현님? 네, 그... So the question was... The training data set is like... Ten, tens of thousands of images and... We sample 1,000 images from that data set 
and we compare it with your generated images. It is the end of session, so you're free to go. If you have any question, please ask. 저 궁금한 게 있는데요, 조교님. 그 네네. 질문 중에 네. 원본 이미지가 몇만 개인데 어, 몇만 개인데 그 무작위 추출해서 저희가 만든 청계랑 비교하는 거면 어떻게 저희께 비교가 되는 거죠? 저희랑 다른 이미지가 나오지 않나요? 무작위 추출하게. 아, 그래 가지고 제가 그 리얼 이미지 데이터셋을 드린다는 겁니다. 제가 아까 맨 처음에 말씀드릴 때 네. 그 리얼 이미지 zip 파일을 드린다고 했잖아요. 네. 잠시만요. 제가 다시 한번 공유를 해 드릴게요. 보이시나요? 네, 보입니다. 여기서 이 리얼 이미지가 이제 제가 열, 그 천계를 무작위로 추출한 건데 이게 네. 리얼 이미지인데 이, 이걸 드릴 겁니다. 근데 그거를 드려도 저희도 네. 천계 무작위 추출을 하는 거인 거잖아요. 아 아니죠 아니죠 학습하실 때그 만개를 다 쓰시는 거죠. 아 학습하실 때 만개를 다 써서 이제 네, 거기 셀럽 A에 있는 걸다 쓰셔가지고 그걸로 이제 간을 학습을 하시고 네. 그 비교는 이걸랑 하는 거예요. 어 그러면은 궁금한 게 네. 아, 저희가 생성하는 이미지랑 리얼 이미지랑 비교를 하는 건가요? 네 맞습니다. 지금 보시면 어... 이게 제가 실제로 만든 천개의 그 제너레이티드 이미지인데 네. 보시면 이렇게 딱 봐도 좀 그렇잖아요. 네. 이런 거를 천개 만들고 실제 데이터 천 개를 비교해 가지고 FID 스코어를 재는 겁니다. 아 이해했습니다. 감사합니다. 아, 그리고 네. 리눅스를 못 쓰는 경우는 네. 좀 연락을 뭐 메일이나 이런 걸로 좀 여쭤봐도 될까요? 아예 안 써봐서. 아 사실 그러니까 리눅스를 이게 그러니까 안 써봐 안 써본 경우라면 제가 사실 그냥 아까 예시 때 보여드린 그냥 배시하고 이 이름을 그대로 넣으면 되거든요. 네. 근데 만약 리눅스 서버가 예를 들어서 아예 없으시다. 그렇다면 사실 이걸 돌려보실 수가 없는데 네. 아그 경우는 일단은 일단 네그 zip 파일을 그니까 압축만 잘 해주시면 사실 상관 없을 것 같긴 한데 그 제가 윈도우 쓰시는 분들이나 이제 맥 쓰시는 분들을 어떻게 할지는 다시 공지를 해드리도록 하겠습니다. 네 감사합니다. 아, 그리고 그그 네. 그 혹시 코드 공개 비공개 여부도 좀 말씀 주시면. 아, 그러니까 번에. 코드를 제, 아, 그, 코드를 제출해야 되는 거죠. 코드 제출, 거 비제출도 그때 공지할 때 같이 좀 공지를 해주시면은. 아, 네, 네, 알겠습니다. 네, 알겠습니다. 네, 감사합니다. 네, 그리고 정, real image를 input으로 받아 리콘. 아, 네, 옥터 인코더 계열은 안 됩니다. 무조건 그 제너레이터랑 디스크리미네이터를 사용하는 간을 사용을 하셔야 됩니다. 프로젝트 관련해서 따로 보고서를 네, 제출 보고서 제출은 따로 없습니다. 질문 더 있으시면 알려주세요. 네, 그... 이제 마무리를 그럼 하도록 하겠습니다. 그, 그 셀럽 A 데이터를 다운받는 거에서부터 사실 작년에 보니까 에러가 좀 있더라고요. 그래서 코드를 짜시기 전에 우선은 한번 
미리 데이터로도 데이터라도 다 준비를 해 미리 해두시는 게 좋을 것 같습니다. 평가 상태로 이미션 셀레브 맞습니다. 셀레브 A에서 저희가 이미를 추출해가지고 그거를 이제 그게 이미지가 원래는 그 몇이었더라? 218 by 178이었나였는데 그걸 저희가 64 by 64로 바꾼 거입니다. 근데 이거는 사실 리얼 이미지는 아 지금 확실한 아마 공개할 것 같은데 공개할 거라서 뭐 걱정 안 하셔도 될것 같긴 합니다. 오케이, okay, so today it will be like it will be the end of the session. So if you have any question about today's lecture or project, please for the project, please question at the post that I just that that I uploaded. And for the question about the CNN, just upload the post as usual. So this is the end, and. See you next time. Thank you.